This video will walk you through the process for installing the Dawn Drupal 7 responsive theme. Now there's two potential ways that we can install this theme. I'm going to show you the fastest first. Once you've extracted the files, you'll notice that there's a several folders in here. One contains the database that allows us to import this directly into our database. Then of course we have the full demo files. The full demo files also contain a restore point for backup and migrate. This will provide all of the demo content. So again, the first way we're going to do this is by manually importing the database, copying over our full demo theme files, and then connecting the site. At that point, it will unfold and be ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started with the fastest possible route. So on your host or in your server, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and create your database. In my particular case, since I'm working locally, I can handle all of this through PHP my, my admin. So if I open up the databases here, I can go ahead and create a database. I already have one set up, which is called Theme Demo. So this is the database that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this database up. Once I've opened that database, I'm going to go ahead and come to this Import tab up here on the top. And here is where we can choose the file to import. We're going to go ahead and select Choose File. I'm going to grab the database, as you can see. This is theme002 database. I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to go ahead and hit go. While this is importing, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come back into the full demo files. I'm going to copy all of these files into the location where I want my Drupal installation. In my particular case, I'm using this theme demo folder. As you can see, I already have these files copied over just to save time. So I've copied these files into my server. Now that the database has successfully been imported, I need to go set up my Drupal installation so we can connect the Drupal installation to our database. It's a very easy step. All I need to do is go into my theme file or my site files, theme demo, sites, default, and I need to locate this default.settings.php. What we need to do is open this up and rename this file settings.php. Scroll down and I'm going to look for the most sufficient way to connect to the database, which is right here. I'm just going to copy this here. I'm going to make some room down here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And then just paste this here. So at this point, what I need to do is I need to take my database name and enter that, which is theme demo. And my username is root. So go ahead and plug your credentials in here. Now for the password, I don't actually have to insert a password because I'm working locally. However, in your case, make sure you enter a very secure password that's connected to your database. So now that I've imported that database and I've set up my settings.php file, I should be able to automatically connect to my Drupal installation. In this step right here, all we have to do is just set up our credentials so it creates a secure file. I'm going to enter in my database name, theme demo, my username, and my password. Once I enter all of those, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and continue. Our site's going to be ready and unfold in full with all of the demo content. Looks good. Everything's working properly. And remember, your login credentials for this particular site is admin password abc123. Once you log in here, you'll be able to control your content. It's very important to remember that once you've logged in, go ahead and change all of your information inside of your user account. So what you would do is you would come in here, you would select edit, change your username, current password, abc123, change your email address, and then create a new secure password. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit save. Now remember, in the process of us setting up these Drupal installations, several things happen while we're doing this locally. You need to make sure that you set up all of your site information as well. So go to configuration, system, site information. From here, you can change your actual email address to your site. And another good idea would be to go to reports, available updates, and go to settings and make sure that you are notified every time your Drupal installation has an update. All right, now that we're done with that easy installation, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check out the alternative way to install this theme. 
So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and clear my database out so I can work with a fresh copy of a database here. So I'm going to go to theme demo up here and I'm just going to clear all my fields so I can start all over. Now one of the important things to understand about these packages is that inside of the packages we have this secure folder where we can access this backup and migrate. Well, if we weren't successful in importing our database into PHP My Admin, there's another way to do this. Just remember, I've already copied over all of my files into this particular server directory. So I have an empty database, but what I need to do is I need to get in here and actually install the Drupal system from scratch. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, select our installation profile, save and continue. Once this fresh installation is complete, go ahead and set up your information. Now just remember, everything that you put in here is going to be replaced here shortly when we restore the full demo content. So it doesn't matter what you put in here. Save and continue. Now that our Drupal installation is complete, let's go ahead and take the next steps. At this point, what we need to do is we need to go turn on the Backup and Migrate module. So let's go ahead and head to Modules. I'm going to run a search on the page and find Backup and Migrate. I'm going to go ahead and enable this module and hit Save. Once that module has been enabled, we need to go and set up our file system. So let's go to Configuration. You can scroll down a little bit to Media, and we need to set up our file system. Here's where I'm going to enter my secure path. And in my case, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the temp directory that I already have created. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save Configuration. Once that's saved, let's go back to Configuration, Backup and Migrate, Save Backups. And here we have a single restore point for the DAWN. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and select Restore and confirm those changes. Now that the restore has completed, let's go ahead and close out of the overlay.